Greetings, old Smoky Silver here again. I'd like to thank you again for stopping in, paying me a visit. Thought I might bring out some uh, cobalt blue bottles here for you. That's about the extent of my cobalts, but uh, hey, some's better than none when it comes to cobalt. I really like them. I've got, got a few of them here. Of course, I've got the uh, John Wyeth and uh, Brothers that uh, I had on my first video, but it is cobalt and it's and it is blue. So I thought I'd bring it back out, give you another shot of that. It's a it's an old bottle. And next to it here, it's not really a bottle, but it's an, an old uh, lamp bottom, lamp base, oil lamp base. It's got a uh, ground top on it. It's got some age on it. It's got some blue in it, kind of a fade. And of course, then an old apothecary bottle here from uh, Whitman Tatel, Tatum or Whittle Tatum. I'm not sure which they are. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, read anything about them. It just fades me every now and then. But it's got a ground stopper in it. I ground that down nice and smooth so it fit. And then of course, uh, the top on the inside, it's it's also ground so everything will fit real good they made quite a few bottles in their time and plus I have uh, another really nice bottle it's an old bottle uh, somebody told me it was a uh, an English bottle made in England uh, which very well may be prices patent candle company and then it's limited and then there's their seal there or their logo I guess you'd call it today so it's quite an old bottle. It's got the crude hand applied top on it. Plus it's got the cobalt stopper in it. And the cork around it to seal it up. You can see in there how kind of wobbly the top is there. It's definitely a hand tool. It's an old one. And then I come to a little poison bottle. That of course, unlike the others uh, that are dug, I bought this one. I saw it in a store, and I just had to have it. But it's a case bottle. It was, uh, I guess, it, they found them uh, a case full of them uh, in an old apothecary or drugstore somewhere. It's an old poison bottle. Uh, paid pretty good for that in its time. I think you can see here on the top there where it says poison. Oops, upside down. It says poison there. They really made it spiny. You knew during the night if you got into that that uh, that's something you didn't want to get a hold of. Of course, uh, original cork. It also says poison on the front too. I don't know if you can really see that or not. That's a. Uh, I, I like that bottle. Pretty proud of it. That was H B and Company. HB company that uh, made that particular bottle and then of course here I have a little apothecary type bottle well, or medicine bottle really um, it's also a it's made by Keysby or it's Keysby and Matson company Ambler Pennsylvania I didn't say what it was nothing on the bottom that's a fairly old bottle. And of course then I have your ever famous Bromo Seltzer. Baltimore. A lot of those around, but that's got a little bit more age than some of them. I found some of the newer ones also. But just a little taste of cobalts there. Uh, I like these bottles. They're, they just got a peaceful, pretty color about them. That, that that's enough for this time around uh, once again I thank you for stopping in and maybe next time I'll put some uh, ad, some amethyst flasks up some old whiskeys I bought uh, in a antique store several years back uh, some pretty colors in those so I'll catch you on the next round thanks again see ya